I mean, I just want to prove to him that I'm a winner. Henson, Henson, crossover. Henson goes up. I try to work on my game every day, um, you know, multiple times a day. I'm always trying to get better. I'm all for getting better. That's, you know, why I'm here. Eason, three by Eason. Eason battles through two. I'm going to show the world that we can win, and I can help that. Just my main goal every day is just to get better, you know what I'm saying? You know, stack good days together and, and just just be, be happy to be a part of the process. Leave no doubt, we're the hardest playing team. Nobody outplays us in our house. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Nobody outplays us in our house. Be the hardest playing team. The first minute and the last minute. Let's go to work. Yeah, Henson, Henson, alley oop. Oh. Here's it up to Eason. Catch and shoot three. Good. Tari Eason knocks down the second. Taken away. Murray. Henson back to Murray. He'll flush it down with the alley oop. The four. Henson driving to the basket. Layup. Good. Now Eason takes it away. Here comes Eason. Alley-oop, skies and slams it down from the left side. Edwards, deep three, right corner, bullseye! Sheesh, keep on going next game. We do have two of our best days of preparation we've had for a game. Belmont on Monday is the exact opposite of this group. Now, just for reference, Belmont was 26 and 4 last year. They returned all five starters. They got a 6'10 center that can play for any team in this any team in the country. All right. 26 and 4. Let me repeat that. I want to start um, with where you're from, Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a Chicago basketball player. What, what What's the definition of a Chicago basketball player? Well, the definition of a Chicago basketball player, I would say just a tough, grimy kind of player. Do what he needs to do to win, uh, defensively, offensively, whatever it takes. I mean, my, my family really mo motivates me a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I know how, you know, important this season is to me and, and my family and really everybody in the team, you know what I'm saying? I just, so I'm just really trying to just lock in on being the best version I can for, for obviously my family and my team. I got the introduction early, around like four or five years old, just going to the park with my bigger brothers, just hooping with them, playing early, working out by myself at a young age. Um, I don't know, it's just been, uh, just since, since day one, I feel like it, it failed me. I just gravitated towards it, you know, my mom, you know, probably when I was two two years old, and one year she got me a little tight, you know, basketball rim. And from then on, it's just been all about basketball. You know? Oh yeah, I would say when when I started off early, like a little kid, I, I dealt with my brothers a lot. They used to bully me on the court, so I feel like as I got older, I kind of uh, I say departed away from them and started like travel basketball. And, yeah, I took off from there. It was just me and my mom growing up mainly, and. Uh, you know, it, me and hers, you know, any AAU basketball game, travel balls, you know, she, some way, somehow, she always got me there. So, you know what I'm saying? She's really been really big, you know, part of this process and me just, you know, becoming me, instilling, you know, a work ethic in me, you know, uh, just just a, just a mentality that, that a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, may not have, and I, I'm forever grateful for it. Stay connected. Stay connected, no matter what, no matter what. And let's fly around, play all out. Be the hardest playing team every minute of this game. Play all out. We're going to make mistakes. Make them going all out. Make them going all out for 40 minutes starting the first half. Crossover, open shot, three, go! Nothing but the bottom of the net. Driving in, up and under, left hand off the glass, kisses it sweetly. It is a huge hey, bucket. Hey, five out, hold it. Listen, don't gamble to quickly. Keep them in front. We're quicker than them. They're having a hard time getting their offense set because we're in front of them. It's a steal. Eason knocked it free. Battle for it. This time, that. he'll use two hands. He's disciplined. It's our best half yet. We played a good first half. Our best half yet since the second half. Gains in the front court. Little crossover down the lane. And a one-handed jam right down Broadway. Outlet Shepard blocked from behind by Eason on the lay-in attempt. Second block by Murray on the putback effort by Richard. First time since the 30s that we've held five straight opponents to under 60 points. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Listen, that that is, they're a hell of a team. We make them look pedestrian. They are really good. Listen to me. Listen to me. We've been really good here since we've been here. We've been really good. Days have been here damn near the whole time. We have an unbelievable opportunity this weekend. All right? For whatever reason, we have been worth a f in these early season trials. We had not won one. We won a lot of here. We won the SEC. We won a lot of we have not won one of these early season tournaments, right? And we have not been good in these things. That should, and listen, that change is starting Friday night at sir. Really wanted a coach that believed in me as well, though. And I think, you know, from the, from the jump, Coach Wade, you know, he kind of told me how much he believed in me and, you know, what he had seen for my game and, you know, the plans he had and the things that he could, you know, see me doing for this program. So I just really wanted to wanted to go to a team and a coach that, that really believed in me. That was big. That's funny you brought that up. I brought that up my first time meeting with Coach Wade. Uh, I definitely noticed how, you know, under two minutes, down by 10 plus points. I mean, teams usually just crack. Uh, but I noticed that no matter what the time is or the situation at, like LSU, I feel like it just never gives up. And they always play like or think like they, they are gonna win. Yeah, nah, for sure. Uh, I mean, we had a couple calls. Um, you know, he broke he broke down my game. He said, you know, he see kind of flashes, you know, the things that I could do and stuff like that. And then we had a more official kind of Zoom call probably like a week after that. And it was very detailed. Basically, all my stats, everything I shot from every spot, it was it was it was very thorough for sure. It was crazy. I, I mean, I never seen a coach really break down like bit by bit what he wants you to do and what he what he's going to help you do like as far as numbers three point percentage how many assists to turnovers uh, like he had everything like planned out and everything set up for what he wants to wants to see you do and, and he has the things in position to help you actually do it yeah so um i think as a freshman last year at cincinnati um i showcased my athleticism more than anything which you know a lot of people knew i was athletic i didn't really get to showcase a lot of my skill but this year i think uh, I'm kind of showing more of what I can do, the things that I've been able to do, showcasing my skills that I've been working on my shot a lot, ball handling. You know, I'm not a complete player, so there's nothing I won't work on. This ham, crazy. Hey, this ham. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's game. Man, talking about turkey. Three, four of them things. Need it. Bag is secure. Good Thanksgiving dinner. No. Teammates' parents came down. Support. We on the road. Got a game tomorrow against Penn State. Boot up. Your LSU Fighting Tigers on day one of the 2021 Emerald Coast Classic and a matchup with the Nittany Lions of Penn State. We want respect. We ain't getting the respect we deserve. Everybody understand that? You got to go and take it. You got to earn it. You don't get anything. You get what you earn. You get what you earn. Step one tonight against the Big Ten team. Everybody got me? Step one tonight against the Big Ten team. Go take it. Go take respect. Let's go to work. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Here we go. Here we go. Urgent on three. One, two, three. Urgent. To Gaines, the layup, he wanted the flush, instead will kiss it off the glass for two, and the foul. Now left, shooting off the glass, no good, there for the follow is Moani Wilkinson. Keep defending, keep defending, keep with this out pace, go. Here's Eason, right side for three, that is good. Tari Eason knocks down the long ball. Listen, everybody, look, eyes up here, eyes up here. Listen, when you're trying to do something, for the first time in 15 years, it's always going to be difficult. Everybody got that? It's always going to be difficult. This is what we're built for. Inside, that is. He's got the Tigers on top. Pinson wanting to go inside for days. Instead, we'll take the three and knock it down. Xavier Pinson. Tigers have numbers. Beautiful feed to Afton Reed, who hammers home. We got a one and four. Xavier step back three. Good. Half the 
pass intercepted on the inbounds play. That'll do it. Your final score, 68-63. Tuesday here in Scout, we'll have a game plan for Wake Forest to Oregon State tomorrow. If I understand that, hey, tomorrow for the first time in 15 years, we're going to win one of these things. Hey, we got a, listen, listen, we got a huge home court advantage. Here we go, here we go. LSU on three, one, two, three. LSU. Tigers are ready. Tigers are ready to do something we haven't done in 15 years. 15 years, we're ready to roll. We're ready to roll from the start. From the start. Play hard, play smart, play from the gut. There's Reed, he's wide open for the layup and scores. After Reed with two, he sent left alone for the three, we'll take it and drain it. Tari East top side for LSU, Brandon Murray for three, nothing but the bottom of the net for Brandon Murray. He backs in Darius Days against LaRavia, shoots, scores, and draws the foul. Inside, that's a three ball that's good for Xavier Pinson. Give him a slowdown, and Reed got a nice jam, and will flush it home. He'll throw up the alley-oop, got it to Gaines, who jams it home. Well, leaves it for Fudge, who jams it home. 18. That's a three left side for Darius Days. And Will Wade will see his team win a holiday tournament. With the team, you came down and won the championship. Man, how better can that be? Bro? I got a little UG with the XP. Oh, so <laughs> hey, little man, tell they how to boot up, bro. Boot up. Boot up! Go to L. Go to L. 